Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I have my top three picks for makeup products out of my collection in every category. So I saw Jamie Page do this video uh, maybe a month or so ago, and then I've seen a few people do it since, and I love this idea. So last night I went through my collection, and in every category, I picked my top three products that I own. This, of course, is a constantly revolving door of items. You know, every time I get something new or sometimes I rediscover old loves. So this is sort of a revolving and ever-changing list for me. But I just went through last night, picked the three products that I liked the best in each category. I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about it. I just quickly thought if I could only grab three things, out of each of these little drawers I have which three would I pick so let's start with primer so primer for me the first product was pretty easy it's this primer from the ordinary I absolutely love this primer I've talked about it to death you can see like I've I've used almost this whole container up surprisingly at the point I'm at now it's really lasting <laughs> like, I feel like I keep saying well I only have a couple uses left and yet it just keeps going. It's this never ending product. So this is the high adherent silicone primer. Um, it's blurring, smoothing. I love this. I do feel like it does those things. It, I feel like it's hydrating. I feel like it's blurring and I feel like my makeup, my foundation just sits better on top of this when I use this primer. So I absolutely love it. All of these products I will link below, but this one is five or six dollars. So also I noticed in almost all the categories, I have some super affordable products and then some some that are not. So this would be one of the primers that would be affordable in my collection and I love it. The primer in my collection that I love that is not at all affordable is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. I mean this, this has been one of my loves for a long time. It has this citrusy scent. This, if you have really really dry skin, this is like a face moisturizer and primer all in one. I absolutely love this primer. It hydrates. If I've got irritated, reactive, raw skin, I go in with this. This will help calm and soothe and just help my foundation sit better. You know, sometimes I go in a little hard with a retinol or I go in a little hard with a exfoliator. If I'm gonna put makeup on the next day and my skin is feeling rough, I go in with this and it's just, it's soothing, it's hydrating. Yeah, I so I love this product, but I think this is like 75 or $80. So it's a little on the high end, but I, for me, this it's worth it to have this in my collection. I don't use it every day because it's too expensive, but I do use it quite often. So I do love that. And then a primer that's newer to my collection. This is the mini size of this, but this is from Tarte and it is the Timeless Smoothing Primer. I use this as a, just sort of in this area, as a pore filling primer, and it works great for that. I'm using this every day. You can see I've really kind of dipped into this product. Um, this does come in a mini. This is the mini size of this, and also the uh, face base comes in a mini. So quite often on the Sephora website, a lot of their brands put out minis, and I, I always start there. So I think this was, tw I wanna say about $20 for this mini size. When I'm done with this, I might just repurchase a mini because I feel like that's still a ton of product. I don't know that I would get through a full size. So yeah, I, I'm loving this and I'm using it every day since I got it. So that's my third pick for primer. Okay, for foundation, there's gonna be no surprises here. I have this foundation serum, serum foundation from The Ordinary. I have it in shade 1.2N. I love this product. It is a light coverage, maybe light medium, but more light. It's hydrating. It just sits beautiful on my skin. And I just, for everyday wear, I absolutely love this serum foundation. Um, on The Ordinary website, they do have two, so be careful. They have like just the foundation, I think it's called, and I don't like that one at all. But this serum foundation, love, love this product. Works so well for me. Um, again, I think it's five or six dollars. 
Yeah, an absolute favorite. Wear it all the time. And then the next one that is a favorite that is not as budget friendly is this Ease Drop Foundation from Fenty Beauty. It's a blurring skin tint is how they describe it. And it again, it's a light, maybe a light medium coverage. I have it in the shade three. I wear this if I'm not wearing the ordinary one, I'm wearing this one. These two are interchangeable for me. I would say this one is slightly more coverage, but it's the foundation I have on today. It's gorgeous, I love it. I've probably used half of this container already. It works well on my dry skin. I've seen some people say they find this drying. I don't, but I do think because I go in with some pretty heavy AM skincare, like I use an oil, I use serums, I use lots of hydrators as well as a sunscreen and then I will go in with a primer and then I put this on. I don't find this drying, but I have seen people here on YouTube talk about how they find this drying. So keep that in mind. I don't, but I go in with a lot of skincare first, so that may be why. So anyways, I love this. Love it, wear it almost every day. And then the last one for me that is an all-time favorite is the It CC Cream. Right now I have this in the Illumination, which I am enjoying, but normally I just get the original one and I. I have it in the lightest shade I think I have it in fair and I, I think that's the lightest shade this comes in now I do have very fair skin but I would imagine there's people with fairer skin than me <laughs> maybe so you know their shade range isn't great in this whereas with the ordinary serum foundation it's an amazing shade range the ease drop from Fenty also an amazing shade range this is not I think there's a handful of shades and like I said I'm in shade fair I think I prefer the original formula over the illumination formula I feel like this isn't quite as much coverage and sometimes I just want a little more coverage this is definitely a medium coverage foundation for me and I do really enjoy it I did have a lady a friend of mine actually tried this recently and said she found it quite drying so again I go in with so much skincare I don't find this drying but if you have dry skin maybe you know I do know this comes in a small you know mini size so maybe try that first but those are my top three foundations in my collection okay for concealers my top top number one is also from the ordinary it's just called the concealer high coverage formula and I have it in 1.2 n I love this I I wear this every day I did grab two others out of my collection that I love but know that day to day this is all I'm going in with. This is actually my second one. I, I used up a container of this. I, I just can't get enough of it. It goes on as quite a full coverage concealer, but I go in light. So I just use a little dot in the corners and I blend it out with my beauty blender and it's a beautiful amount of coverage for me. I don't find this creasing. I don't find it cakey or thick looking. It wears beautifully for me through the day. I love it, but probably Two others in my collection that I love equally are the Clinique one. This is Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer and I have it in the shade 02 Fair. Again, I think this might be the lightest. There, my, well, there must be an 01. Well, I don't know. But anyways, this does oxidize. So I like this. It's a light coverage concealer. Again, it wears really well under my dry. I, I'm pretty dry under my eyes. So I do find this hydrating, but this oxidizes quite a bit. So be careful if you're picking this up that you maybe go in store and try it on the back of your hand first because I initially went in with a shade that was quite, it might be two or three shades up from this. And initially on the back of my hand, I thought, oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. But then as I let it sit there for a few minutes, it oxidized to the point where I ended up buying the O2 shade. So I do love it. It's hydrating and it, and it wears nice through the day. I also really love the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have it in light ivory. This is beautiful. I don't like the regular camo concealer. I find it drying, but this hydrating version for me, yeah, it's beautiful. Again, wears well, not cakey, not heavy looking, and doesn't crease. I mean, I do set my upper eyelids with a little bit of powder, but I don't set underneath, and I do have wrinkles under there, and I don't find that this necessarily sets worse than any others, right? Like, I do always get a little bit of you know, right up here, I'll get a little bit of creasing and I just kind of do that and pat it out and I'm good to go for the day. Let's do our blushes next. This is going to come as no surprise because I recently did, I ranked all my cream blushes in my collection from Sephora. And number one for me is this Tower 28. Out of my collection of blushes, 
powder, cream, high-end, drugstore, this Tower 28 blush is my number one. So this is Beach Please in the shade Magic Hour. I wear this almost every day. I recently went on a bit of a trip. I went away for the weekend to see some family and this was the only blush I took. So I love it. It's gorgeous. It's the blush I have on today. It's easy to work with. It's balmy. It wears well. It sits nice on my dry skin. Love it. But like I said in that video, a close second for me is this Rare Beauty one. This is in the shade Nearly Mauve. I, and again, they're very close. I do find this one sets down a little bit more powdery, so it can ever so slightly emphasize a little bit of texture for me, whereas the Tower 28 one stays pretty balmy, so it doesn't do that. And then, but both of those I love. And then this might come as a surprise. I'm going to put this one as my number three. This is from Sugar, I'm thinking is the brand. And it's the Contour de Force Mini Blush in 01 Peach Peak. And I got this in my Ipsy bag. I love this, you guys. I don't know this brand at all. I'm not at all familiar. You're not even gonna really be able to see much. What I've been doing with this is when I'm all done, my makeup, and I feel like I need just a little bit. I'll take it on a bit of an angled brush and just ever so slightly tap like that. I absolutely love the effect this gives. It just gives me that little pop in through here, that little bit of sun-kissed. Yeah, I'm not at all familiar with this brand. It just came in, in my last Ipsy, and I I don't know if this, it does say mini, so I'm assuming that's the mini size of this blush, but it's actually, it's a nice little compact. And again, I, it surprised me because I'm not really gravitating towards any powder products right now, but I am loving that little mini blush. Okay, and then for highlight, my top, top highlight, and again, all three of these are cream products because that's mostly what I'm using right now. I have this little mini one of the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in Too Fair. I have taken the stopper out. <laughs> and I am scraping down the last little bits of this product. I love this. I love this so much that I bought the full size. I just haven't opened this up yet. Interesting enough, this Too Fair, you can buy it in the mini, but it's a different shade when you go to buy the full size. So just for reference, that's the full size and that's the mini. And I have this in too light now it's it's a different shade and i don't know why they did that i think it's gonna be fine so that's the too fair and that's the too light there again i think it's gonna be fine but they are different and so i'm hoping i'm gonna like this one just as much but can you see the difference there the one that i have in the mini it's got a little bit more peachy pinkiness to it and the other one is a little bit more golden. Now, I think blended out, it's gonna be fine. That's why I've kept it. But I'm almost tempted just to buy this little mini one again so I can get this shade. So again, those are the products there. I, I use it as a highlighter and I just go in in this area here. I dot it, I blend it with my sponge. I love it. Another one that I really like is I have, again, the mini. <laughs> so I always buy minis. This is the strobe cream from MAC. It's beautiful, I really love it. It's more of a, like a white base iridescent one, um, but it's really pretty. It really looks nice as a, again, that highlight, that liquid highlight that I like. And then probably my third pick out of my collection, and I actually do have quite a few cream or liquid highlights, but I've got this one from Rare Beauty, and this is in the shade Enchant, and it also is quite pretty. It's a pinky, base to this but it's it's really nice it gives a beautiful shift all of these are pretty subtle because that's mostly what I like is a pretty subtle highlight again I have the Charlotte Tilbury one on today I don't know if that will really pick up but yeah those those are my top three in the highlight category okay and then for bronzer I have two cream bronzers and a powder the one that I I love I absolutely love it's by Fenty Beauty and it is the cheeks out freestyle cream bronzer I have it in O2 butter biscuit it's beautiful just a really easy to use cream bronzer 
wears well. Uh, yeah, I love it. And then one that I got recently that actually is quite a surprise that I love it as much as I do. I'm reaching for this one over the Fenty one. This is from Tarte and it's the Breezy Cream Bronzer and I have it in the shade Seychelles. I don't know what it is. I reach for this one over the Fenty one. I'm loving it. It's the bronzer I have on today. It's so easy to use and that shade I feel like just is a really good match for me. And then the last one I'm going to mention in here is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the airbrush bronzer, a matte bronzing filter for face and body. I have it in the shade 2. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this. On days when I want my makeup to really last, I go in first with my cream blush bronzer highlight and then I will top them. And so I go in with a little bit of powder blush, a little bit of powder highlight, and this is the powder bronzer I reach for every time. Charlotte Tilbury products are just some of my favorite. I don't think there's anything from the brand I haven't loved. I absolutely love this product. Now I don't wear it a ton right now because I'm mostly going in with cream products, but when I want to top with a little bit of powder bronzer, hands down 100%, that's the one I go in with. Okay, let's talk powders. Now I have a couple categories of powders because I feel like these powders all do different things. My favorite loose powder right now is this one from Becca. Now Becca's going out of business so if you are wanting to try this powder now is the time. I th So anyways this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I had a little mini of these that I bought years ago like probably two years ago and I bought it we were down in the US and I was at an Ulta and they had a mini and I grabbed it to try it and then it sat in my collection and I didn't use it. I just didn't grab it so I put it in my project pan and I used it up and I absolutely love this powder and so when I saw it I was like on that trip I was visiting family my mom and I went to a winners and they had this container for $15 so I grabbed it because I'm loving it it's a great loose powder it's not heavy it's finely milled and it just mattifies and sets down my makeup beautifully I love it I I'm gonna be sad when I use this up knowing that I can't get it again. So I do have a couple pressed powders that I also love. Right now in my project pan, I've put this one from LYS. This is the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder and I have it in the translucent shade, which is Resilience. This is beautiful. So I, I love a loose powder. I also love a pressed powder. And so this is what I'm using now in my project pan. I pulled put this one in here and I'm using this after I'm done with my cream products to go in and just ever so slightly set down those cream products. It's beautiful. It's very finely milled. I don't feel like it adds any sort of a tint or anything to my makeup, which is what I, I don't want any sort of a tint. You can see it doesn't put any color down at all. It just helps set down those cream products. And then the third one's going to be no surprise. It's this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in One Fair. I use this every day. Look <laughs> at I've re I almost need to repurchase this. I use this when I have done absolutely everything is all done. And then I will go in and I'll use this just in this area. It mattifies, sets down, and smooths. That's what this powder does. It smooths out my pores. And it, I have quite enlarged pores in this area and it just blurs them and they're gone. And so this will always be in my collection. This is probably my third or fourth that I've had of this powder. So those are my top three powders right now. But there are a couple powders that I love. Not that I'm using them a ton right now because again, I'm mostly going in with cream products. But when I want to give a little more illumination, I'm going in with this one. It's these, these packaging on these gets so dirty, but this is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder and I have it in 01 Highlight. What I'll do is I'll go in with the with either the LYS powder or the a loose powder and I'll just lightly set. And then even lighter than that, I will take a little bit of this and just go just a light dusting all over my face. And it gives this beautiful shimmer. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. 
I've got this one that does that. And then I have this one from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. This does that same effect as the Laura Mercier one. I love both of these. So right now I'm not using them a ton because I'm going in pretty light and dewy with my makeup, but certainly in the fall and winter, I will be back to those products. I absolutely love them. Okay, for brows, again, no surprise. These are products I talk about all the time. For a micro pencil, I have this one from the brand Real Her. I initially got this in a boxy charm and I bought three or four of these in the boxy pop-up sales. They do have a website though, you can get it right off their website. It's it's my favorite micro pencil right now. It's got the little spoolie on one end, which I don't really use, it's too small. And then it's got a little micro pencil on the other. It's easy, it's quick, I love the color, I love the formula. I've gone through a ton of these, I absolutely love it. Newer to me is this NYX product, and it is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I have it in the shade Espresso. Espresso? Espresso? No, Espresso. <laughs> And it looks like this. So this is my second one because I was, like I said, recently visiting my mom and I left her the one I had. It, it's, I love this. I would never have thought I would like this kind of brush tip applicator, but it gives hair like strokes through my brow and it's so quick and easy. So I go in with that and then I typically follow it up with some sort of a gel. Right now my favorite is the Brow Wow by e.l.f. It's a fiber gel. I have it in a dark brown. It's a little tiny brush and it just helps build up those brows. It gives me fibers through there. It sets, it holds, it has a little bit of tint. Those are my three favorite brow products for sure. I go through, I've gone through, well, I mean the next one I left with my mom, but I've had multiples of those over the last little bit. For eyeshadow, truthfully, I don't wear, I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow, first of all. Eyeshadow palettes, I rarely reach for. But one thing I will do is I will do a little cream shadow, like a one shadow look. One of the ones that I've had for a while that I love is the Super Shock from ColourPop. This is in the, the shade Sailor. These are beautiful. If you haven't tried these, it's like a kind of a spongy texture to it and this one just has a slight iridescence it just gives a slight shimmer to the lid and I love that another one that I really like is this one from Revlon it's the color stay cream shadow I have it in praline well, the container looks like that it's really pretty it's easy it's kind of got that whipped texture I'm running out of spots to show you but again you're not gonna really see these because they just add a little bit of shimmer which is what I like like. Typically in the summer, I don't, I mean, almost year round, I don't want a ton of color, but I do like just a little bit of shimmer just to add a little bit to the upper eyelids. But yeah, I don't do a ton for sure. And then <laughs> I have this one from e.l.f. It's kind of funny, a, a lovely subscriber mentioned in, that I should try these. And so I kept going, you know, different stores that I knew carried e.l.f. products trying to find them and I couldn't find them in store. And then I was going through my collection to add stuff to my project pan and I realized I had one. So this is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick and I have it in rose gold. I've worn this a few times. These are beautiful. It's this beautiful, creamy, easy to wear formula. I've, like I said, I've worn it a few times. It's definitely, it goes on super creamy, blend it out with your finger, easy, easy. And then it just, it's, it doesn't move. It stays all day. It doesn't crease on me. These are good. I really, really like that. So very easy to use and stays all day. Okay, for mascara, I pulled out three products that I'm using every single day, but one is a primer. I use, this is my favorite combo and I've talked about this a ton. This is the Lash Paradise Primer and then the last Lash Paradise Mascara in Black is Black. If you have not tried a primer, please try one. It makes such a huge difference difference to my lashes. I feel like the mascara goes on better and I only, I use two coat, I use one coat of the primer and two coats of the mascara and that's what I have on my upper lashes today. If I go in with just the mascara, I definitely don't get this effect. So this combo, I wear it every day. I've been doing it for years. This is number one. This is number two. That's my picks for mascara. And then I am going in on my lower lashes with this Velour Mascara. And it is the Pretty Big Deal Peptide and Tubing Mascara 3-in-1 Lash Serum, Lash Shield and Mascara. This is the first 
tubing mascara I have ever tried. It's the one and only. Where can I show you? The packaging on this is beautiful. It's it's such a nice product. I don't, I'm not using this for my upper lashes because it doesn't give me this effect. I want a big, bold lash. I want to look like I'm wearing false lashes when I'm not. So I get that with the Lash Paradise. This is beautiful though. And again, for a tubing mascara, I only have this to reference, but I there's lots of things I like about this. I like how it makes my lashes look in that it gives me crazy length. It makes my lashes look really long. They just don't look as thick as I want and you can only build this up to a certain point. So I'm using this on my lower lashes because it doesn't flake or smudge. And not that I struggle with that a ton, but just so that I get some use out of it, that's how I'm using this. And at the end of the day, this washes off so easy. Just a little warm water and it's just gone. There's no, you know, raccoon eyes. There's none of that with this product. So this is my number three pick in that category. And then for setting sprays, my number one is this from Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is my second one, I think. And look how much I've used already. When I'm done with this, I will reorder. This is gonna be a staple in my collection. This is one of my favorite setting sprays of all time. I love how it smells. I love how it sprays. It's this crazy fine mist. It feels hydrating and nourishing on my skin. It makes my makeup look better every time I use this. It just sets it down and helps it melt into my skin. Love it, like 10 out of 10 love. My next one, I don't have one right now, but it's the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'll pop a little picture up so you can see. I'm sure you're familiar with it. I don't have one right now, but it is one that I have had over the years, multiple ofs. It's usually always in my collection. And again, it's just that super fine mist and it's a continuous mist, so you don't have to you know, pump. You just hold it and spray. It helps my makeup look better, which is why I use it. It sets it down. It helps it melt into my skin and I love it. And then the third pick for me is going to be this one from Cover Effects. This is the Illuminating Setting Spray. Again, I've had a ton of these over the years. It is a staple in my collection and I love it. It is illuminating though, so be aware of that. Let me show you this sprayer. Oh, it's just... <laughs> It's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Right now they don't sell cover effects on Sephora anymore. So I go on the cover effects website to get this, but you know, if you want a little bit of, you know, dewiness wherever, it gives the nicest, you get both shoulders, the softest shimmer effect. It's beautiful. I love it. Staple for me. I always have one of these. Okay. And then the last category is lips. So, and again, I think I've talked about all three of these before, but these tinted lip balms from Tarte are my favorite. I wear these all the time. I have this one in the shade Wish. That's all I have left. It's almost done. It's such a pretty shade. Let me show you here on the back of my hand. They're dewy, they're balmy, they feel nice, they wear well. They have a minty scent. This one is in the shade Rose. Just go right over top here. This is the one I have on today, is this rose one. It's just, they're beautiful. Absolutely love them. For me, it's just all about a hydrated lip, and I get that with those. They just feel creamy and nice on the lips, and I wear them, I wear them every day. And then typically I will top it with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is in the shade Moon. This is a complete dupe for the Fenty Gloss Bombs, but there's something about this gloss that I like even more than the Fenty ones. And in my collection, this is the topper that I reach for. I put this on almost every day as I'm heading out the door over the Fenty one. I have quite a few of the Fenty ones, but this Maybelline Lifter Gloss, that's the one I reach for. And then the last one I'm gonna talk about is pretty new in my collection. It's this Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Extra Strength Instant and Long-Term Lip Plumping I Love a lip plumper. As I've said before, what I really want is Angelina Jolie lips. <laughs> and what I was given was hardly any lips at all. This doesn't do that. I'm not gonna put this on and look like Angelina Jolie. Wouldn't that be lovely? No, but it is tingly and I do love the way it feels. I love that tingle effect. Some people don't. So just, you know, 
personal preference for sure. Let me put some on. But I mean, it does have a nice sort of iridescent quality to it. I think you can even see that in the tube there. So it looks pretty. It does bring a flush of color to my lips. It is tingly, which I do enjoy that sensation. So yeah, definitely this is one I'm reaching for all the time. I'm really enjoying that. So there we have it, the top three out of my collection in each category. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that was fun to see. Probably the next time I do this, it'll be all new products, right? Like this changes and evolves for me, but these are the ones right now that I'm absolutely loving and using all the time. My top three in every category. Thank you so much for watching you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.